It is 85 degrees and sunny. It's a beautiful day here in Atlanta, Georgia, and it felt like the perfect opportunity to bring my easel outside, enjoy the sunshine, and make a video for you sharing some of the process as well as thoughts I have that guide my acrylic paintings. These are the supplies I'll be using today. As you can see, I prefer Golden and Liquitex heavy body acrylic paint, my brushes, my trusty paper plate, and this is a little funny. This is my daughter's old school uniform. Um, it had some stains on it, so I couldn't donate it, and it doesn't fit anymore. So today, that is my paint rag. Here comes Mimi looking for a drink. And let's go ahead and get started. So I learned how to paint using oil paint, but I have since switched to acrylics for a number of reasons. However, I work the same way that I used oils, which is by working in layers. Acrylic paint has a much easier cleanup process. I love the vibrancy of the colors that are available, and it's overall a lot more accessible and affordable than oil paint. One of the key advantages of using oil is, of course, its slow dry time, which allows for some really beautiful blending opportunities, but I have been able to achieve a very blended look that I'm happy with in my work just by misting the paint and keeping it wet with a spray bottle, and also by mixing water with it as I work. Let me pause for a moment and show you the brush I'm using. This is a half inch angular shader and it is my favorite brush to use on everything. On the left is an older brush, which is the one I'm currently painting with. I've noticed that acrylic paint does tend to stick in the bristles and fray the brushes a little quicker, but I still find them to be very useful even when they look beat up. On the right is a newer brush that I reserve for painting details and crisp lines like this one. I've been working on this piece for about three or four weeks now, although it's a little difficult for me to tell you exactly how many hours I've put in. I don't work a regular schedule. I work usually late at night after the kids are in bed or when my son is in daycare two days a week. That's actually where he is right now, and this leaf I'm working on is the last part of this painting that I need to complete. I'm trying to get it done before I have to go pick him up in about an hour. Green is one of the most difficult colors to use because it's a fairly translucent paint even before adding water to it. I would estimate that I have about 12 layers on at this point. That sounds like a lot, I know, but when you're enjoying the process, it does go quickly. I've often felt that when I'm painting, I'm also engaging in a spiritual or meditation practice. Focusing on one simple task like blending colors can cause you to lose track of time and enter the flow state, which is really a beautiful place to be. Something that may surprise a lot of people to know is that I actually don't do any sketching in advance of beginning a painting. In school, we were taught to always make thumbnails and gather references in advance of the execution of a piece but that never really felt intuitive to me. Now I plan my art pretty much the same way I plan my life, which is not at all. <laughs> I really enjoy allowing the painting to reveal itself to me as I go, and I often find that what I end up with is more beautiful than anything that I could have planned. Not knowing what comes next is a part of the excitement to me that keeps my attention so engaged for so long on these larger pieces. The most wonderful thing about art is there is no one way to do it. Just because this is my way of working doesn't necessarily mean the same thing will be true for you, but I do always hope to be an inspiration and help you to also fall in love with the process.